Hello everyone, today we will talk about the headache, specifically how to evaluation of headache in adult patient. Let's begin a beginning of headache as defined is it the pain related to irritation or inflammation of intracranial or extracranial structure. Why? Because there is no pain receptors inside the cranial cavity. The pain receptors is extracranial that's gonna be compressed or inflamed of these receptors. The pain is a primary causes or secondary causes. The primary cause is there is no underlying condition like a migraine, tension type of headache. If it's a secondary causes, there is underlying condition like a trauma, space, occupant, lesion. The most commonly patients come with the primary cause of headache, but most too serious thing is a secondary causes. Okay, the headache is a primary causes or secondary causes. Primary causes like tension type of headache, migraine or cluster or any uh, type. The extracranial structure, the extracranial causes and secondary causes like even anything surrounding the extracranial like eyes when we talk about glaucoma or sinusitis or even alcohol or medication or even optic neuritis giant cell arthritis like when we talk about secondary causes there is intracranial structure we have many causes when we talk about the vascular there is a stroke or hemorrhage or giant or vasculitis we talk about infection there is meningitis encephalitis or even brain abscesses tumor is it metastasis come from the liver or is it primary itself the csf related there is increasing intracranial pressure like increasing of the increasing of the uh, csf like hydrocephalus or there is trauma or trigeminal neuralgia the patient comes with us to uh, manage the headache. First of all, check the vital signs. If there is increasing of the elevation of the blood pressure, that related make a hands of elevation of the uh, blood pressure, elevation, uh, emergency hypertension, and there is uh, should go to the history and examination. If there is a red flag in the history, go to the CT. As we know, the headache is clinically. We should not go to investigation. There is uh, the most common cause is a uh, migraine or tension type of headache. We should treat it. Uh, يعني, don't go to expensive uh, investigation. No, uh, step by step. If the patient have red flags, get, then gonna do CTC. Uh, CT. Uh, computer tomography or MRI magnetic resonance uh, imaging and if there is no red flag more go to more details history and clinical examination uh, then go to the suppressive care and related treatment the patient underline that condition okay as we say the most thing is exclude the red flag as that a neurological deficit or alternative mental states or even the patient has more than 50 years old why the, the red flag is most very important to exclude the life-threatening condition like stroke and hemorrhage or even uh, meningitis uh, cause uh, should fast as we can should start treatment Okay, if the patient come, we, we talk about the red flag uh, in details later, come with red flag, we should exclude that by, uh, like the patients come with a neurological deficit or even severe sudden headache, we should do the CT. With the CT having some investigation like CBC, uh, TSH, ESR, CRB, we will do a, a CT to evaluation. If the patient comes with severe headache, do CT without contrast to exclude subarcanoid sub hemorrhage. If there is a new headache with people edema, uh, we may it's maybe some giant cell arthritis, maybe increasing intracranial pressure, as uh, something uh, 
that space occupied lesion may either it's a tumor and may is a trauma we think about the hemorrhage inside the the brain the chronic headache we also having ct if there is no red flag it's we are safest now go to the the most uh, yani we should exclude the surrounded structure at the eye there is a uh, acute angle glaucoma or is it uh, sinusitis or even a uh, dental care i didn't um, anything in a problem in the dental cavity okay after that we go to primary cause of headache is the most common like tension type of headache according to the history is unilateral or bilateral is it mostly can bilateral and increasing with there is criteria for uh diagnose the patient with tension type headache or migraine or even trigeminal neuralgia okay let's start it to the headache for the little flag is a snob te, 10 it goes 10 goes we have first of all is systemic uh, manifestations the fever the hint of there is uh, infection in the in uh, meninges like meningitis or encephalitis is that neoplasm having the patients that it related tend to secondary metastasis or neurological deficit and uh, alternative mental status with seizure there is a stroke or subarcanoiding hemorrhage uh, another causes the onset of causes is, is abrupt and severe is it mo mostly with subarcanoid hemorrhage the all young of the patients that may giants cell arthritis or even tumors the the pattern changing is severe recurrence or uh, the pattern itself the positional headache may have increasing uh, hypo hypo tension or hypertension uh, increasing with coughing uh, exercising co and sneezing and uh, papilledema that increasing intracranial pressure uh, progressively headache and typical features the uh, pregnancy itself uh, we think about the uh, eclampsia and uh, preeclampsia or there is pituitary apoplexy or uh, even diabetes mellitus uh, patients come with eye well, as uh, acute angle glaucoma post-traumatic onset and immune uh, as we say that HIV uh, patients it's low immunity may have a meningitis or encephalitis or uh, or even tumors come okay and overuse of a drug comes some some disease come with over headache uh, when we use over or abuse use of uh, or contraceptive <laughs> uh, about the oral drug uh, to relieve the headache and that is the life-threatening uh, condition uh, it, there is hemorrhage or infection or there is increasing intracranial pressure, hypertension, a carotid artery, a vascular itself, a stroke, pituitary apoplexy, monoxide poisoning, cerebral venous synthesis, thrombosis, and hypoglycemia, preeclampsia, eclampsia. It is most life threatening condition. Okay, uh, as we know, first of management, we should take a history at the time. Uh, is it uh, progressive frequency how come gonna be in the day the natural natural of the headache and localizing in the unilateral bilateral and there is radiated pain triggering by stress or uh, physical exercises or there is recent trauma associations symptoms uh, like nausea or vomiting um, Horner syndrome is it uh, meiosis and hydrosis and ptosis aura photophobia phonophobia neck stiffness neck pain seizure and uh, vision abnormality skin lesion even in, in in history we should ask about the anticoagulant medication to uh, that's cause subarachnoid hemorrhage 
uh, analgesic, as we say, the uh, overuse the medication, pregnancy to exclude preeclampsia, eclampsia, yeah, and uh, the increasing with age uh, more than 50 years old, and immune suppressor uh, stasis, uh, HIV, and carbon monoxide poisoning, the patient comes with dizzy, nausea. If it's a sudden onset of the headache, uh, the most come with a subarachnoid hemorrhage, we should exclude it immediately. And visual disturbance for glaucoma. Uh, we will talk about the fever, meningitis, and blood pressure elevation. In the past medical history, we should uh, uh, review other illnesses like hypertension, hypothyroidism, even the seizure or migraine. If the patients take uh, oral contraceptive pills, that is a risk factor for having migraine. Also, is allergy, caffeine, and taking alcoholic and smoking, and even family history. There is uh, many conditions like migraine coming with the family history. We talk about the physical examinations should check uh, vital signs if the blood pressures or fever. Uh, okay, this is my head. We should uh, investigate everything in the head. Uh, it can is called super weight and temporal artery and there is a movement of temporal mandibular joint if there is any problem in the eye there is any problem in the uh, nasal or oral cavity i'm or may having uh fundoscopy uh, should having neuro very focus for neurological investigation for having any difficult deficit or meningeal irritation or hernia syndrome about the abdomen check if there are patients pregnant or not and the skin to having if there is rash for the meningitis okay after we taking the history and investigation uh, this make a hence the patient is high risk or low risk to gonna treat uh, as we said the the headache is clinically no need to do investigation otherwise we have uh, uh, suspect there is uh, more s a serious condition, do lab study like CBCT, HNAs, RCRP, Im imaging like CT, uh, if the patient have neurological deficit, as we said earlier. In the CT, we should see the parenchyma, intraventricular, and tracheal and sulcus, and um, may, may we have additional uh, like lumbar puncture to analyze the CSF uh, in, in meningitis cases and tonometry and EEG if the patient have a migraine or seizure uh, to nanny we can have the uh, most uh, type of the seizure or there is uh, overcome with migraine and temporal artery biopsy when suspect the giant cell arthritis. Okay, as quick recap, there is primary cause of headache and secondary cause of headache. The primary cause, there is most common tension type. After that, migraine, uh, trigeminal neuralgia, is it mass occupying lesion as subarachnoid hemorrhaging or tumor. There is other condition in the CSS as meningitis and arter arterial distension. There is stroke, is extra uh, or disorder, primary extra cranial or external of seen as like a hypertensive and preeclampsia, eclampsia. We will talk about the migraine as we, oh, each of them have a criteria to diagnose, but we can uh, make, uh, is it the migraine by the history? If the patient, if the pain look like unilateral, unilateral, uh, most of all, but not a hundred percent, the character is pulsatining, aggravating, increasing by time. The patients uh, like to sleep and be in quiet room and dark. The pain is for four to seventy two hours. There is come with aura or without aura, nausea, vomiting, photophobia, phonophobia. Uh, it's usually come with it. Our tension type of headache is bilateral pressure, th uh, like uh, characters, and patients uh, is increasing last of the day is uh, thirteen to seven day, 
there is no association symptoms like يعني, like a nausea or vomiting autonomic uh, symptoms a cluster type of headache always in the orbital site and there is pain increasing frequency pain very very severe pain require uh, patient not relieving by sleep is uh, for 15 minutes over eight time per day it's come with like cremation horner syndrome and for neurological specific, uh, deficit other come with uh, autonomic manifestation in this picture is show how the pain is localized in unilateral in migraine and tension type of headache here and cluster headache is specifically uh, surround uh, in the oral area uh, excuse me in the <laughs> preorbital area most of cases is a primary of headache no need for admission if the patient need admission the secondary causes how to manage and investigate the patient that patient is um, not oral uh, tolerant to medication or overuse of medication when we discharge, there is no life-threatening causes, and uh, the, the, we describe the good uh, medication for patients and educate them, and uh, we go to the primary evaluation the patient and refer to neurology if it needs. Uh, that is how we make the evaluation the patient with headache. Thank you for everyone for listening.